Hey Auburn Trojans, I really need you to watch this video um, today if possible. First thing in the morning if today isn't possible, I'm going to try to keep it short and to the point. Tomorrow we have uh, our Friday bell schedule. Um, I guess the best way to do it is we're going to say we're going to consolidate all of our classes. We're going to move lunch all the way to the end of the day. Um, the kids are going to be hungry, okay? So you might want to just uh, get some snacks around or whatever. Um, I don't know if you have a chance to watch this before school gets out, encourage them to eat. I'll probably send an email out to families just reminding them of this. But we're going to have a school-wide picnic. Uh, we're hoping for good weather. We're going to get it. And the picnic is basically going to happen out at Memorial Stadium at Troy Field. And I'm going to take you through just a quick PowerPoint or a Google slide to kind of give you the logistics behind it. Because we're only going to do this once this year. We just want to make sure we come as close as to nailing it right the first time. So you already have the day three schedule and basically, whoops, where'd you go? It's right there. Okay. So we have zero periods going to run its normal length. First period is going to go 35 minutes. There is no second chance breakfast yet. It's coming. And then second, third, um, fourth and fifth, um, and sixth, we'll have 35 minute periods. We're still going to do Troy time tomorrow because we have some lessons to do in Troy time. So that's gonna be 45 minutes. And then after that, everything I think for Troy time goes to 25 minutes. Um, as far as logistics, this may not be too easy for you to see, but what I have here is a satellite view of our school. You're gonna see a red line here. That's kind of our line of demarcation as far as which classes get released first. We'll do a 1245 release and we'll do a 1255 release. Okay, if your class, you can see the two portables right there. If your class is above the red line and the red line above it counts basically from Dave Cox's 501 classroom all the way down to Tony Poshton's uh, band room. And then also the classes on the other side, which would be the shop classes, metals, woods. Um, you're all considered above the red line, okay? PE, you're considered above the red line. Automotives, you're considered part of the red line. You're going to tell your students that they're, you're going to walk over to the stadium as a group, but first you're going to go through the service line, okay? And that's the food where the kids will pick up the food. Um, we really want you guys walking through the hallways, the portables. You're the only ones exempt from this. You get to walk straight to the head of the serving line, which is just outside the double doors outside Chris Salisak's classroom and Dave Cox's classroom. They'll be set up, you'll be able to see that. So really, it's the two portables, uh, Erica's class and Baj's class, you guys will be first to be served and the kids will go through the line and you can go through the line too or you can meet them. But I want this checkpoint two to be a place where you regather your kids after they have gotten their lunches, they're all grab and goes. And you got two routes you can take. You can stay to the right, hug the sidewalk by the baseball fields, cross that crosswalk, or you can go in front of the PAC, you know, if you're trying to do some spacing out, you can walk in the middle of the parking lot, so there's a crosswalk there. From 12.45 to about two o'clock, Jessica Smith's gonna be there. She's gonna support the traffic to make sure they know to slow down and all that. We're not gonna close the street, um, but basically that's the way that's gonna go. Now, Chris Z is gonna help me out. He's in room 500. He's right down here by checkpoint one. He's going to go ahead and, and kind of staff the hallway, okay, because we want everybody going to as if they're going to an assembly, because this is going to end up being an assembly. So if you're walking your kids from the south end of the building, your release is going to be at 1255, about 10 minutes after the north end got to get through. We'll probably catch the tail end of the north end. Uh, but as the south enders are coming, Chris Z is going to be in the hallway. He knows the indicator as far as when we can start letting the kids in the South End classrooms start to go through the food line, okay? So we're gonna try to get through this thing in about 15, 20 minutes max. And as you guys are walking your classes over to the stadium, try to keep them as a classroom entity best you can. Um, crossing the streets, be safe about that. You're gonna walk them into the visitor side, okay? We're gonna use both sides when we empty the stadium at 2.30. But going in, we want to be a little bit more controlled. So we're all going to enter through there. You'll walk them into the stadium. And uh, the areas the kids can eat at, you can see I have a little kind of a diagram here of the football field. So here's the football field. The kids can eat on the field. Kids were asking me today, can I bring a blanket? Yes, you can bring a blanket because they want to sit on the blankets and do like a picnic. 
Uh, when we get to the assembly part of this, our freshmen are going to sit in the northeast corner of the stadium, sophomores in the southeast, juniors in the southwest, and seniors on the northwest side. So it's kind of like our gymnasium setup, kind of turned to the right, I guess. Uh, but we're trying to keep that same configuration to get some class chants going. And I guess this kind of just rehashes everything I just said. All the North classes, we're going to release you at 1245. Do not leave until you hear the announcement. It'll probably be me. And teachers walk students through the lunch line, like I said. And then the main part of the building, this end, um, towards the main office, anything south of Z's room, Mr. Z's room, anything south or at Auburn Cafe, south of that, we're going to release you at 1255. Students are going to pick up their lunches by entering the breezeway next to the PAC drama classroom. Teachers walk their class of students over to the stadium. Got to be safe. Um, stay with your groups, please. Um, as far as some of the more important things contractually, we're going to make sure everybody has 30 minutes of duty-free lunch. You can do it in the stadium if you want. You can hang out with the kids. Totally up to you. Or you can leave. You can tap out. Go somewhere else and eat. Uh, but one thing we do need is we need to have about half in the stadium at each given time. So if you're a teacher that walks over with a 501, classroom 501 to 902, the North group, we really want you um, um, over in those areas. Uh, basically, let's see, that's when you're gonna take your staff lunch, okay? And then for the rest of you, you're gonna take your staff lunch between 125 and 155, okay? Close to that, I just wanna make sure you get your half hour. Once we get to 155, and this is for everybody, we need everybody back at the stadium if you have left, okay? And um, yeah, it's basically the same thing I just showed you. It's gonna be very controlled. You don't need to be in a hurry. Um, the kids don't need an hour for a picnic. We know that. We'll have some music playing, things like that. We'll let kids just be kids. And you know they're gonna have their masks off um, if they're eating. Um, anytime we have groups of students and 500 or more, or anybody for that matter, we're supposed to be masked if we're outside. So once we get back into the stands for the assembly, unfortunately, we're going to have to mask. And that's just the new guidance we just got this week. It started on Monday. So, you know, um, we'll be outside. There'll be a breeze. Hopefully it'll be fine. Um, at two o'clock or probably just before two o'clock, probably about 150, we'll start telling the kids to head to the stands and their cohorts. And that's where we're going to send you guys um, your duty sheet as far as what stand you'll be sitting in. If you're, you know, ninth grade house teacher, you'll probably much be with a freshman and then we'll space out the other ones. But you'll get that information from Janet Tarsi. And then uh, the, the, here's a big thing too, another safety thing. We're going to release everybody at 2.30 and we want to be controlled about it. We're going to tell the kids the buses aren't going to leave without them. And uh, the kids that are taking the buses, you know, if we release a little bit earlier than 225, that's okay too. And uh, Jessica Smith, she'll be out there uh, with Doug and with Angelo. So our, our Dean of Students and our Campus Safety will be out there helping the kids safely cross the street. You don't need to be worrying about walking with your class at that point, because by that point, they will have become cohorts, class of 25, 24, 23, and 22. So we're going to have a great day. It's going to be fun. I promise uh, the weather's going to hold for us. And let's just really have a lot of fun with the kids. And, you know, keep your layers of safety going. If you're not comfortable, wear your mask. Um, if you're, well, all of us should be vaccinated by October. So hopefully you started that if you haven't already. And, uh, yeah, we'll do the best we can. If you have some kids um, who are feeling very anxious about this, uh, please reach out. Uh, we could probably have a fallback area where kids just aren't feeling it. I had worked with two kids today with anxiety. I helped them out and we came up with some short-term solutions and we talked about some long-term solutions too. So work with the kids, reach out to your resources, myself, all the administrators, counselors, whoever. And if we need to build a room for kids that just don't want to tap into this, like maybe we stay in the commons, we can do that. Okay. So just stay close to your kids. If you're hearing things, check in with them. We just want to make sure it's a positive event for all. Okay, that's a lot longer than I wanted to go, but thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, and we'll have a great day tomorrow.